Here we are. When 34-year-old Laura Levis died from a massive asthma attack, husband Peter DeMarco could have easily melted into grief. What he did instead is inspiring. A simple act, a thank you letter, sent to the doctors, nurses, even the cleaning staff, everyone who helped care for his wife. So extraordinary it was published in the New York Times. He writes, how many times did you hug me and console me when I fell to pieces? Or ask about Laura's life and the person she was. Amanda Moores was their social worker. Despite such tragedy, I think that there was a lot of beauty in that room. Like the time hospital staff looked the other way when Peter smuggled in their beloved cat for one final lick. It's not just about the physical support you give, it's about that emotional support. Or when nurse Jennifer Polly's helped Peter climb into his wife's bed to spend one last hour at her side. He called it a gift beyond gifts. But what he's now given them is a public expression of his appreciation. So powerful it hangs in the intensive care unit at CHA Cambridge Hospital. I think we all needed to be able to walk by it and look at Laura's picture and remember, even in the difficult moments, that this is why we do what we do. The sentiment struck a nerve online. Stories like this make me remember why I practice intensive care medicine. Sometimes you need a letter to restore your faith in humanity. Gratitude from a grieving husband, now teaching the power of saying thank you. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.